Hey, I'm Billy Harris, you're hanging with Harris from Los Angeles at Providence, my good friend, the one and only Michael Simarusti. How are you, Michael? Good, man, I'm hanging with Harris. You are hanging with Harris, Jersey style, I Absolutely. Say. Cheers to that. Cheers. Everyone's from New Jersey. Right? Everyone, all the important people. All the important people. First question, why is it called Providence, not Jersey or something like that? Because when I wasn't in New Jersey when I was a kid, I was in Rhode Island. In Rhode Island. Yeah, so we spent all our summers up there, actually in Narragansett, but my grandparents are both from Providence. Connie so and you, Ted. Connie and Ted. We'll, we'll get to Connie, that in the next yeah, video. Though. Yeah, so that's how we came up with the name. Are you a culinary school guy or not? Yeah. You did that whole Yeah, ride. I went to the CIA in New York, um, graduated there like 20, Long 20 plus years yeah, ago. It, yeah. go, it goes fast. You yeah. and we both. Uh, culinary school, did you go right to New York City like a lot of people? Yeah, or did you I did. go somewhere else? You yeah, did, right? Yeah, we went to, back to New York. Uh, I, you know, I did my extern in New York right. with Larry Forgione at an American oh, yeah, place. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. and then um, you know, spent some time there and then went to Le Cirque for many you know, years. You know, we're getting old because now everyone knows his son, right? I they, know, they, they, I they know. just know Mark, right? Yeah, Everyone's exactly. like, wait, there was Larry. No, I remember, I remember going to Larry's house, like out in Long sure. Island, and going to their church and cooking, you know, with, sure. when Mark was like, just yeah, a little kid. Yeah, yeah. Do you find there's a French twist to what you're doing? Is there a yeah, Jersey absolutely. twist to see? I mean, you know what it is. I think I think I think it's true of all chefs. To, you know, like you just funnel everything you have yeah. through your experience. You sure. know what I mean? And and what comes out on the other end is just like a it's a compilation of uh, you know drawing from all those yeah. different influences. So you're here, Providence. Connie and Ted's, we've been talking about food, don't really care about your French culinary background. What yeah. I want to do is get into the kitchen. Excellent. And we're going to do some fish cheeks, I yeah, was told. Yeah, we saved a little something for you. A little something, something special. special. Absolutely. Well, I'd love to go in the kitchen with you. If you're ready to go, we're going to go. Cool, thanks. What kind of fish is this, Chef? This is a, this, well, this is part of a wild striped bass that we got in this morning from Maryland. You know, people say the best part of a fish is the cheek. Is the cheek. And so this is a way where we, we were able to cook the, the cheeks while still on the bones. And Frank will show you how to do it. Frank's Francisco. the expert. We're going to cut out the he cheek. He is the expert. Go ahead. Dude, we, can only, we only need one. Yeah, Billy's just, a small I'm guy. Good, yeah, need a lot. yeah, exactly. Cutting through some sort of bone action here. Cutting through the skull of this guy. The yeah. skull, like, went with bone action, but it's the skull, all right? Holy moly. Oh, look at this. You're going right through the face a little bit. And just, and there you have it. Oh my God. Okay, great. There we go. All right, so we only need a half. Now it's your turn, I guess. So, Billy. Right? Yes. Tell me. <laughs> what do you think of our fish? I, I think it's lovely. Because you don't want to have it on the grill looking at you like that the whole time. No, you, you don't. Looks, it's a little very, creepy, actually. It's the mouth, the, the, the eyes. Point, yeah. Now you just push his eye out of his head. <laughs> and now you just break it up. Crunching through all that. Michael, none of this is a waste. We're just getting to the good stuff. Here, We're just right? getting to the good stuff. But this stuff can all be used for like stock. Like or a stock, broth. right? Yeah. You would use it. So that's it. That's the bass cheek ready that's for the grill. So, Michael, our good friend Frank, took out the, chopped the fish head, got the fish cheek. That's right. And now it needs a little seasoning. Now we're ready for the grill. This is our bichotan grill, Japanese bichotan grill. Bichotan. Bichotan. Fancy coals, it looks like. Fancy charcoal from Japan, yeah. Okay. It gives off great heat, not a lot of smoke. Sure. Good flavor, though. We're going to brush it with a whisper of mayonnaise. I this got will it. keep it from sticking because we want to preserve okay. the skin of the fish. Got it. All right, so once we've done that, then we're gonna season with sea salt. So yeah. mayonnaise. Like homemade that mayonnaise. That is not though. black pepper. What is this coming This is white pepper. White pepper. And then we're gonna season the fish on both sides. Okay, got so it. So the nice thing about cooking the, the cheek like this is that it's protected all around by bone, either sure. bone or skin. Sure. So this way the cheek itself, the meat in there, it's sort of like protected. Yeah, it's protected almost like and steams and stuff. What kind of salt do you like to use? This is gray sea salt from gray France. Gray sea salt from France. Yeah. We're gonna let it go for probably three, four minutes on the bone side. And then once we see that it's beginning to cook, then we'll flip it over, crisp up the skin a little bit, yeah. and we'll be ready to eat. And that's it. All right, that's we're it. gonna let that do its thing. All right, our fish head is resting. Now fish we need a dressing. little. So now we have the garnish. Garnish will be so the So these are uh, last of the season matsutake mushrooms from Oregon. Okay. Also known as pine mushrooms. They have really delicious flavor. Okay. And these we braise already in a little chicken stock with a like, shallot and okay. rosemary, okay. little lemon juice. And we save all the juices and we make a little sauce with that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this over to the fire. We're gonna pour the sauce over the mushrooms, bring the two things back together, get them hot. All Just right. little chives and some other mushrooms We're gonna put here. some chive in, the, um, in with the matsutake and yep. the sauce. Finish a little extra virgin olive oil, and we'll be ready to go. You just get right under there like this. We start to take all of the flesh out from underneath It smells there. so good, by the way. Yeah, it's like really great. So we'll save that's the yummy skin. too, right? Yeah, and you see it's like just barely done, which is the way we want it. That's the way you like it. It slides out, there's wow. one. Boom. And then there's this other piece up here. There we go. All right, so then this guy, we could just maybe just cut it into smaller pieces, little bite-sized yeah, pieces yeah, yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah, 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 little nibbles. Little nibbles. 
We'll put a little sea salt on it before yeah. we serve it. I'm ready. A little bit of olive oil. Yep. That's for you. It is for me. A little morsel. But it's like butter. That's why you cook it surrounded by the bone and it keeps that texture. Yeah, no, no. I mean, it is like melt in your mouth. Amazing. Olive oil with that kind of... Yeah, olive oil with our matsutake juice. Matsutake juice. A little, juice. little bit of... Uh, this is a little yuzu, just a few drops. Isn't that lemon? Like a cross between, say, like a lemon and a uh, tangerine kind of. Right, the last so, a little salt, got the mushrooms. Yeah, so now we'll just drop a few of these guys on the plate. Yep, very precise. Yeah, just kind of drop them around in different places. A couple of pieces of cheek, mm -hmm. like that. How beautiful is that? So we're gonna season the matsutake slices, raw slices. Okay, raw slices So we have cooked now. matsutake and raw matsutake now. We'll See, now it. it's about this. We'll put a couple of these on there. Like that. It's like a duel of mushroom. Cooked mushrooms, raw mushrooms. Raw mushrooms. Now we have a little uh, yuzu zest. See, now comes the Jersey touch right yeah, now, right? Exactly. This is what it is. Some you could take the boy out of Jersey, but you're not fooling anyone. A little metal They do this swirl. in Bayonne all the time. <laughs> and some borage blossoms to finish. Yeah. And, and what's then, that? This is the juice that we braised the matsutake in, which we just finished with a little, um, a little olive oil. And then you foamed it up. And a little bit of butter, and then we just aerated it with an immersion blender. Spectacular, look at that. There we go. So, fish, chic, Bass, Maryland, mushroom action, olive oils, salt, acid, flour thing. Done. Done. I'm getting the mushroom and all of it. One big bite. This is how Aris does That's it. That's how you gotta do it. It's almost like a dual dish because there's such a mushroom thing happening. The fish just melts. I mean, literally just melts. The cheek is so soft. It's like butter, as they like to say. Michael, thanks for hanging with Harris. Thank you. When you're in Los Angeles, come see Michael, Providence, Connie, and Ted's. Have the fish cheek mushroom thing. It's amazing. Thank we'll you. We'll see you real soon. Good Bye. to see you.